Before we get into today's episode, real quick, everyone make sure you go subscribe to the Jackson Kruger Sports Clips channel. The link is in the description. We actually currently have a preview for every single team on that channel. Now it is, you know, they're clips from the podcast. So make sure, you know, do us a favor, get us to a thousand subscribers so we can monetize that channel. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, and anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. All right. So we got to see some Jalen Waddle. And listen, uh, you know, He's kind of in the middle of that Jamar Chase versus Panay Sewell, you know, kerfuffle, whatever you want to call it, rivalry, uh, because, you know, uh, the Dolphins could have drafted Sewell as well. Instead, they went wide receiver as well. And Waddle has come out looking clean because he's not giving up a sack every play and he's not dropping every pass near him. So <laughs> he's looking like the best side of the three through preseason. I thought it looked solid. I thought that there was some real good stuff there. Uh, we didn't get to see a ton. They didn't really showcase a lot of what he can do. It seemed more like the Dolphins just wanted to get his feet wet, uh, no pun intended, with being a Dolphin. But uh, I guess Dolphins don't have feet. Anyways, plowing ahead. Uh, I think they just wanted to get him a little bit ready, get up the game speed, have him touch the ball in an actual NFL game. Uh, so let's get into the film study and see what we could learn uh, in the, you know, 36 snaps that he had so we'll start off with this play what's going to happen is that this is going to be a jet sweep motion you have uh, multiple players who are going to go out to block two Atlanta uh, defenders and then I've circled another Atlanta player that's the defensive end on this play he's the main guy Jalen Waddle has to beat now I think for a lot of people you're going to say well wait a second uh, defensive end against a wide receiver, this should be an, an incredible matchup for the wide receiver, right? That should automatically work out. And it should, but it's worth mentioning defensive ends in the NFL a lot faster than they are in college. On top of this, it's less about what a defensive end actually tackle Waddle and more about can he just disrupt this play to give time for the linebackers and defensive backs who are unblocked to get over and make the play or for even the defensive backs who are getting blocked to get out of those blocks and make the play. And once this play starts, so Waddle takes the ball. And at this point, again, you can see how this could be disruptive, right? If you can just sort of force Waddle to have to run closer towards the sideline, it's going to take him more time to get over and you might not be able to gain too many yards. Maybe you can gain like three or four, but it could be tough. However, watch how Waddle really just toys with him, runs over, and he's going to pick up a first down right here. That's really good athleticism and a great ability to turn the corner the way he could do that. I mean, he was never even concerned about a player that could have had a significant impact with other situations. So again, uh, is that Waddle good? Is that Atlanta Falcons defensive end bad, I'll let you be the judge. But I would consider that a little bit of both, and I definitely think it's good by Jalen Waddle. Now, I want to talk about a play like this. One thing that I like about Waddle is he just cuts so smoothly. The way he moves is just a thing of beauty. It's a reason why I was a huge fan of him coming out of college, because he can move the way he can. It's a, on this play, it's a man coverage situation, single safety deep. Waddle is running an out route that should get past the first down marker. And really just watch how smooth this cut is going to be. I mean, look, he's going to, you know, it looks like he's running in a, a second later, he's moving over and even has time to, you know, try to lay a block, which is nice to see. Uh, don't have to do that, but he's, you know, being a good teammate, trying to get his teammates some more yards, but really just a great uh, route there. I love the stem portion of that route, how he starts off as though he could be running any route. And then in an instant, boom, he's going to the outside. He would have been open had the ball come that direction. So really good route by Waddle, in my opinion. Now you have something like this as well, where what's going to happen is, you know, it's a zone coverage play and he's running underneath the coverage. So it's something you expect to work out. Uh, but watch what happens. So right when this play starts, it was a disguise. So the Atlanta player who I've circled in black, it just took him an extra second or two just to get over because he was faking as though he was deep, now moving over in a little bit. However, you notice that he's stopped right here. So he's expecting Waddle. He basically just doesn't know what Waddle is doing. It could be a deep route, could be something over the middle, could be what Waddle is actually running, but he just doesn't know. So it kind of stops in his tracks a little bit. However, Waddle, as you see right now, is just now starting to cut. So again, that first couple of steps, I mean, look, he's barely past the first down, uh, or excuse me, the line of scrimmage even, although he started a couple yards before the line of scrimmage. However, that beginning portion, that does so much, and that little part is going to do him wonders, and 
Listen, for rookie wide receivers, they often don't think about route running too much, just given the fact that, especially someone fast like Waddle in college, he could just blow by everybody. However, in the NFL, it doesn't quite work that way. There's fast corners on a lot of teams, so you kind of have to, you know, have uh, more stuff you can do. Well, clearly, he has more stuff he can do. I mean, look, he ends up getting wide open and even makes a pretty difficult catch right there. So a lot of just great stuff from Jalen Waddle. And again, I think that the criticisms about drafting Jalen Waddle as opposed to, you know, taking Sewell, it has nothing to do with Waddle the player. Pretty much everyone agrees Waddle is a really good player. Even something like this, this is weird because I'm, I want to show it because I do consider this a very good route, even though it's going to be defended perfectly. So he's it's not going to work at all, but it's a good route. Uh, he fakes as though he's running over the middle, then it's going to go to the outside. This is man coverage. And again, don't look, don't focus on how much he gets open because that has nothing to do with this play. But watch how he is going to kind of fake as though he's going over the middle. But then just, you know, the way he turns his hips like that, I would say maybe you could be a little bit more explosive later on, although the throw was going out of to his hands as that happened, so maybe not. Uh, plus, it was unlikely that throw was going to go to him anyways, given the other route that Tua threw to. Uh, but still, I just like the way that he was able to turn his hips like that. I thought that was very good. So yeah, I mean, that's a lot of what I think about Jalen Waddell, is he did some stuff that I thought was good. I mean, he moves so well. He is so quick with the football. He's got great speed, and he looks calm there too. You know, that screen pass uh, or the, the jet sweep where he has the ball and he just sort of is able to easily go past the defensive end. It's not just that he beat him. It's how calm he looked while doing it. He was totally aware of his surroundings, knew where he had to go. He can move well. He's shiftier than maybe we've even seen in the preseason. In, in college, he looked even more shifty. Uh, he can cut so well, and he is just so explosive. I think that Jalen Waddle looks awesome. And again, this preseason performance, it was fine. Uh, not every single preseason performance is going to be uh, this Justin Fields thing where we get to see an entire showcase of him and we can talk about how good or bad it was. Waddle, we've got a little bit of, and he didn't do a ton of either because not every snap is created equal. But from what, what I saw, I, I would say I liked. And again, the best thing going for Waddle is that Jamar Chase can't catch passes. So he's already looking better than that. So, you know, it's, it's always nice when the guy who goes one spot ahead of you has really struggled out of the gate, makes you feel better, makes you look better. So good for Waddle there. Um, but yeah. That's what I think about Waddle's preseason performance. Let me know, what do you guys think of his preseason performance? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.